Hi, <laughs> y'all. We have to tell the story about across the, the Blanchard, across the Tomo run from here. Way back in the woods behind Lexington Arms Apartments is a cemetery uh, built in the 1830s uh, by the United Brethren Church. Uh, it was believed that some Native Americans were also buried in that vicinity, so it got the name as the Old Indian Care, the Old Indian Cemetery. Uh, no graves have ever been excavated by Native Americans there, but many of the early residents, the Rose, the Galbras, are, were buried there. Some of them were actually even 18, uh, War of 1812 veterans. That's where I saw the name, right, right back there. Yeah. We, there was a lot of double dog dares to go back to the cemetery when I was a kid. And uh, there's a great story, uh, a, a lady who is a historian, uh, now living in Tennessee, but originally from this area, uh, Laura Wilson Perry. Uh, I, will, I, I can give you the information a little bit later, uh, but she has a great history of that cemetery back there, if you want to know more. It now belongs to the village of Ottawa. I'm here for the government. <laughs> and nothing has happened and may never happen. But it is kind of ironic that here we are, we have veterans of the U.S. military service buried there, and it's gone completely into disrepair. Yeah, it's one of those terrible stories we have to tell. Okay, David, thank you.